I'm your host, Reggie Sykes, the king of trolls of all trolls, and I <laughs> promise to troll you too. To my left, we have Michelle Hayes, first lady. Smooth, five O's. Ooh, whatever. <laughs> and to my right, we have a guest host today, Mr. Calvin Scott. Thank you. Thank Calvin. you guys for having me. Thank you for having me. So I uh, hear you have some uh, uh, experience refing. Uh, yes, I've uh, refereed basketball, baseball, and football. Okay, so, uh, cool. I love all, all right, sports. All right. I love all sports. That's cool. So, uh, um, Michelle, you have a question for him? Because uh, I'm going to say mine for the heard. end. I'm going to say mine for the end. So. I thought I heard, he, heard him say uh, referee. So uh, how many years did you say you did before? Yeah. Oh, at least 20, 25 years. Oh, wow. Nice. Okay, okay. Pretty long time, yeah. Okay. So what do you think about um, how, how the refs are being treated in um, the sports right now? Um, I, I, I think it's easy to, to officiate right now. Uh, I think referees need to be able to handle personalities better. Um, if you do your best, because you have electronic uh, replay. Mm -hmm. So the main thing is to get the call right. Mm -hmm. um, do your best, and if you miss a call, that's what the replay is for. So I think the refs, uh, in in some cases, are getting a bad rap. But you know, if you do your best, <laughs> the replays well, will take care of everything. Just get the call right. Right. That's okay, right. I got one thing though about that. When you said it's easier to ref, yeah, you know, with the technology now, and you know what, like you said, they can go to the replay. But that's almost like saying. Uh, referees can be a little lazy now about their calls. Oh, we got the replay. We we can work. But I, I feel like they should still ref the game naturally. Just, you know what I mean, what they see is what they call because that's what we had to rely on before all the replays. True. You know, you True. know, you know what I'm saying? You can't go back on a call when when a player like a LeBron oh, rules. La flops. You know, I ain't never Here seen a player go. go up to a ref and change the call. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that has happened. But, you know, like I said, though, I, it, in certain ways it's easier, but then there's also ways I feel like it's lazy. It's well, lazier. You know, it's are they giving you 100% on the calls and not even thinking about the replay? So that's, that's my issue with I that. I think you have an excellent point. But my point would be like last year in the playoffs between the Rams and the Saints, when the Saints fans were upset because the referee did not call a pass interference. Now, don't, don't mind me because I don't like the Saints because I went to Southern University. <laughs> don't mean I have to like the Saints. Right, right. My roommates like the Saints. Hey, Jason Garmouche, I don't like the Saints. Kirk, I don't like the Saints. <laughs> but to me, a missed call is part of the game. Just like human. it's a replay. Referees it, are just human. Like, just human. Just like, uh, you know, blowing the whistle so it can be reviewed to see if it's really a call. You know, you're going to add so much, so many layers to me to the game right. that the game's going to be five, six hours long. You right. know, baseball's already right. trying to shorten their game. You hear the commentators now, you know, saying, oh, now see, that just ruined the flow of the game. You mm. got to go over here for five to six, seven minutes, yeah. replay, you know, look at the replay. Uh -huh. You know, make a decision there. Um, sometimes, like I said, that's what I mean. It's just kind of really interrupting stuff. If you got a flow going. But we can't have it both ways. We want them to get the call right. That's true. But we want the officiating. Better, be. better training. But my thing it is. It comes with better this, training. This is what I'm going to say about it, though, because since you brought up the Saints and Rams and we're talking about replaying and everything. Now, how is it that you make a bad call? go to the replay, and still don't get the call right. That's my issue with it. You make a bad call, plain as day, open field. You go to the replay, the people in the booth and the refs on the field still can't get it right. Now, what would you call that? Over over too many rules in the game. I mean, you sound like a 
distraught Cowboy fans when uh, uh, no. X dropped the ball. And, you know, like was it a catch? Was it a sound I don't like, like the Cowboys. I like Ezekiel. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Just like James fans don't I, like the Lakers, but they like James. There you go. <laughs> we ain't, I said I wasn't going to bring that up this week. I messed up. Not on wood. I wasn't supposed to bring up the Lakers this week. But I, I understand exactly what you're saying. Yeah. I was just using that for example. I think there are sometimes too many. What's considered a catch? Two right. steps in the ball. Two steps. What if you cradle in the ball and, you know, like that and it hits the ground? So I think we're well, all the rolling. It just let's move. ask Kellen then, since yeah. you know he did the football, the uh, basketball. Let's, what I, do you I, think? I think honestly, as far as that catch, what he was talking about is it two steps in the ball or is it a catch? And, well, I, mean, I think I mean, the rule is that you have to have a catch and then make a football move right. in this particular the, case. A move toward. Um, and the replay did show that it was a catch. So how many steps, though? Um, if you making a move, you can make a move, but not move. The replay did show oh. that it was a catch. They're saying that he didn't make a football move. Thus, they've tweaked that rule in order for that player to make a uh, considered a football. Are, are move. you biased? No, I'm not biased. Well, no, who's I, your football team? I'm a Colts fan. Okay, I'm just checking. That's what to make sure. Okay, oh, he all right with yeah, he, okay. he, 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 he a Colts fan. We just let us still I'm biased. <laughs> <laughs> but back to the back to the officiating, though. Seriously, though, I think with the replay, I don't think it's going to prolong the game that long. The main thing is to get. The call right. 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 Exactly. If it takes right. another, you know, minute, two minutes or so, get it right. The referees, as long as they're in position and do their best, uh, they're going to miss some calls. Right, right, but right. But get. I'm the, glad it's only the two minutes. What is it after under two minutes, two minutes or under, where they go actually do the replay? Yeah, like that, if that went on a whole game. Oh my well, God! Well, we well, have each coach has two uh, challenge flags, so it, that's like a replay if you challenge the call. To me, so uh, you don't really oh, need the oh, whole game, I don't no. think, right. I would say. But what they need to do is find out what can be reviewable. Right. Get that together. Right. Right. Don't say that pass interference is not reviewable. The main thing is you don't want what happened against the Rams and the uh, so Saints. So you think missed again. calls should be reviewable? Um, you got to get the coaches at your flag, you do that. Not necessarily. It was a missed call. Right. That was human right. element there. But – if they went to the electronic replay and saw that it was interference, get it right then. Mm -hmm. Get it right then. Mm -hmm. No matter right. who it goes against, get the call right. NFL right. probably don't want that to change anyway because, look, well, they've been talking about it also. The only place where Super Bowl uh, <laughs> watching wasn't, was up was in New Orleans because they was all on Bourbon Street mad. They had referees <laughs> in effigy beating them with a bat and everything, hoping to open up with candy and stuff. <laughs> so, uh, but I honestly feel fans don't care if the call may go against them if it was the right call. They right. don't care. I, I honestly they believe that. They filed a lawsuit. Some of the Saints fans filed a lawsuit about that missed call. That's well, that's I'm because saying. they think it wasn't right. That's right. why right. he's saying. Tweak the rules, and that should have been reviewed. I mm -hmm. think what you said yeah, at first, exactly. Calvin, referees are going to miss calls. They're, they're going to make calls. They're going to make some fake calls. Human. It's part of the game. That's I right. get that. Deal with that's it. Right. I get that. You know, there's been a lot of bad calls against the coach and Pacers. I just live with them males. I right. just take them males. Right. So, I just think, I, I like how it is right now. What really makes me mad is in basketball, they always want to call uh, uh, a double technical or something, or something to show up again, then they got to go look at the screen. Mm -hmm. You don't need to do it. Back in the day, I could bust your nose, and that was just a regular common foul. You ought to see if it was a, a flagrant foul or anything. Back in the right. day, the playoffs, you know, what was it? The say it was, nothing easy. Yeah. Nothing coming in this way. Yeah, now, say, gotta, they're protecting the players more, you know, to where. They're soft. Yes. These new age players are soft. Who's the ringleader? You know what I'm saying? I ain't uh, said the name. The, the well, the troll, league wants more scoring, so thus, if they want more scoring, they're going to have to allow a lot more freedom, and that's what mm -hmm. they've done. You but they can, scored. Mm -hmm. They scored high back then, though. Yes. Well, back they, in the back in the eighties and nineties, I mean, like you now. were getting scores, yeah, you know, like eighty-five now. to eighty-four. You know, yeah. fans didn't want that. They wanted mm -hmm. more scoring. So if you get more scoring, but you've got to be able to allow the offensive player to have more freedom on it, the court. But it takes I, away from being a big man down low, though. 
Because how many that big man men are actually down low? Know. But I'm just saying though. Do you can, consider Giannis a big man? Yes. John, he's a Giannis. big man, but he's look a how he of, gets down the court. I don't feel like there's an around. excuse for that. No, no, That's... no. What I'm saying is, now back in the day, the big man owned the lane. You sure if you did? come down through there, right? He's taking you down. That's true. But you have That's to feel that game has evolved. The exactly. big men no, have spread they, the court. They made it right. evolve because right. they made it so soft to where you can't touch them down there. It's hard to block a shot without putting a little body on somebody. You just uh, sh- foul. That's not a foul. That's basketball. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a little, you, you know, they you, consider though basketball is not a contact sport. But it is a we contact sport. We all in this panel know sport. that is not true. It's not true. You basketball don't touch is a other. contact sport. Yeah. But so. it's like, Kevin, it's, you know, they're starting to make it better where, you know, the fouls aren't as hard. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you making a Some statement. Of that you come can in be here, attributed. I'm going to make a statement. Well, it's, it's yeah. not like that anymore. You know, you get thrown out the game for trying I to make agree. a statement. Some of that can be attributed to the European game with players like Dirk Nowitzki coming over. Right, The right. big men now, uh, Gasol brothers. Mm-hmm. Uh, all of the guys coming over, even uh, Giannis, mm-hmm. they can play out on the court. Right. Thus, it's opened it up. Right. And you're not getting as much baggage down there and banging and fouls and yeah. stuff. Right. Uh, I mean, you got stretch fours. You got centers that are shooting threes. Yeah. Right. Oh, the yeah. Lopez I mean, guys. Yeah. So, it's a better game. Look at Miles. Look it's at a Miles better game that, in that part, I will say, it, it made it's the a game better. Game. better. Right. And but, that's what fans want to see. They yeah. want to see more scoring. But I like to see them boys coming out and trying to get their dunks on and get the block. Well, they're still defense. I want to see some defense. I want to see some defense. defense. Miles like, Turner. They don't play Watch defense. The face again. Watch the face again. It's, it's Miles less, Turner. It's less defense in the game now. I believe he's number one in I guess that's the point I was that's trying right. to get at. It's less defense in the game now compared to where you Well, play. it has to be less defense. And I've never refereed, but you know, you no longer can elbow uh, the guys in the back anymore. You, you, you It's hands off I mean, approach. I mean, you can, you can still do the forearm. No, you cannot. You can't do that. Nope. You can't do that. No, you can't do that. It's nothing. That's why they wanted to open it up so they right. can increase more scoring, mm. so it can be a better product mm. for the fans. Okay, okay. Well, they want to see more scoring. What y'all think about this? Um, this the tournaments that went on this, you know, this past weekend. I mean, oh, it was a lot man, of good some games. great games. March man. Madness. I mean, I'm sitting between two Dukies, and I definitely don't like Duke. <laughs> 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 oh. And you I last week's show. Y'all remember last week's show? Uh-huh. I think I was asked the question, who are you going for, Michelle? Uh, first lady? Duke. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, uh, Duke. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be honest, though. It's going to be it's gonna I be love tough. you, Zion. I love I, you. I, I'm a big Zion fan. I'm not going to lie. The young man has it, it really impressed me since gotta high find school. Somebody replace James. You know, because I was watching him playing basketball in <laughs> high school, and I was just like, you know, okay. I think he. At first, I kind of thought he was overrated because the kids oh, were no. just smaller than oh, him. Oh no! But to see what he's oh, doing in no. college right now, well polished. Oh no! Well polished. Well Who misses game. almost a month now? A month. He was almost out a month. It comes back his first game and scores uh what was it? 30, 29. 29. 29 because points. that's the type of player that he is. Then he comes back I mean, his second game. Months. I'm talking now. They play three games in a row. You gotta think he's though. been gone for almost a month. What was the second total of uh, 31? 31? Yeah. You gotta think though, he's a kid. They only play what? 20 games in college? Call it a man child. Let's You're see, exactly let's right. see if yes. it's gonna if that's gonna transcend her to uh a 83 game schedule. Okay, what, like I just I'm not said, say, I'm, not I'm asking you, you Reggie, one good. question. I'm gonna ask Reggie one question. Almost a month being off. Do you Don't think he went? Do you Almost think he went? Almost a month being off. He came back playing better than he played when, or, you know, when he yeah. before you, he was hurt. He was not practicing. Oh, I know he was practicing. He'd yeah. have to be. I mean, yeah. that's that's just that's a. But I will give Zion credit. Coach K was good. Coach he's a, K, he's a good great call. kid. I thought he was overrated. I love no. the interview that he did after the game with the lady. Ain't he I thought it was great. Ain't he that that showed it. leadership that some NBA players don't have. That's right. I'm not going to bring right. up any names. That's right. And it also shows to me that he, he's ready for that man's game. To me, the only faucet of his game that needs work on is the same thing from the Milwaukee Bucks need to work on. A 15 foot jumper. Oh, yeah, a jumper. A 15 but, but foot jumper. But can hit those three. Now, he can shoot, though. Yeah. He only so shot he can one of them game. At. You only shot one I mean, in that but, game. I mean, but the thing of it is, when you got somebody just lobbing the ball up to you, you jumping up and banging it in. I mean, how many jumping? I thought you really two. I thought three was better than two. Yeah. That's the new thinking, new age I mean, kid now, thing. You say well, smooth these answer now. your question. Though. I'm sorry. Smooth answer your question. I think it's going to be a great tournament. Uh, Duke will probably be favorite, but I think there's so much parity in college basketball mm-hmm. um, that I think um, some of these teams may expose some flaws that Duke. Uh, 
uh, that generally don't have yes. throughout. Yes. So we'll I see. Agree. I think there's I a agree. bunch of teams that can win this championship other than Duke. Um, oh, I agree. So I agree. Uh, I'm going to take, take the field. I'm going to take the field, too. I'm going to take the field. I agree yeah. with you. I'll take the field. I, I got to agree with you there, too. I I'll mean, take the field. I, I, Though, I, I, as I, I told like Michelle, yeah, I'll take the Duke can win it. Yeah. I'm a big Duke fan, but uh, I'll take the field in this one. They're mm -hmm. not as dominant as some Duke teams. Well, that tells right. me, folks, so I'll take that the field. Uh, they don't they don't know. They 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 don't know yet. I have a question. But I'm telling you now, listen to me. First lady. <laughs> Duke. I have a question for you. Duke. What mid major program do you think is gonna stand out in this year's tournament? Because uh, mid major this year? is down. Okay. I like I like old boy with Murray. Okay. Uh, Jamar Murray from Murray I mean Jamar Murray from Murray State. Uh Buffalo. 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 Oh yes. Yeah. Buffalo yeah. beat Arizona yes. last week. So it's yeah. Arizona yes. by yep. Buffalo. So, yep. so you got yeah. Buffalo. Watch out for Houston. Yeah. Uh, oh, Kelvin yeah. Sampson's team. Even though they're not a power five conference, uh watch out for Houston. How does he keep coaching? With the stuff that he does, this is amazing. Well, because he can coach, and this is a yeah. land of second and third chances. Chance. Well, it's a fifth chance for him, ain't it? Yeah, but that's what well, we do. This know. is America. Yeah. But you, you don't have a lot of good coaches out there, so, I mean, you, you know, you got to give somebody a chance again. You know, it's just how it rolls. All right, y'all, we going to move on to Michelle's funny, funky, funny, raise your eyebrow moments. We're going to talk about... Steve Kerr. This is a right uh, eyebrow moment for me. Did y'all see the video? And you have to watch Steve's mouth of what he said about Draymond Green. Okay, I'm going to give y'all my point of view on uh, what Steve Kerr said. Everybody read his mouth. We already know what he said. Uh, I just feel like that's another... Uh, frustrating moment going even toward the coaches, you know, dealing with Draymond. Draymond, you know, when you got players, your own teammates, having a all players only meeting about you, something's, you know what I mean? That's like five of us saying, Reggie, you wrong. Okay, you got to go with the majority. And I feel like if I was an owner, this is what I would say. Uh, Kevin, I know you know, you and Draymond's not really getting along too well. But if I get you to sign with us maybe two or three more years, I promise you Draymond's out of here. I promise you. See. And without the 30 te and with the 30 te NBA teams, at least 29, 28 I'm going to want Draymond. So it's not like it would end his career. Uh, I'm just saying it would take the it would take the uh the uh just the atmosphere that they have right now, and it's because of him. Michelle, Michelle, you're reading too much into this. I That's think just so like too. when my kids get on my nerves, I said, Robert, you getting on my nerves. That don't mean I want to trade him. Exactly. That no, don't mean no, I want to no, get rid no. of him. No, but look how you okay. said that. Okay, okay tell me this. Since, 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 you use your, since you use your son as an example, and you're a big man, how many times are you going to say, Robert? It's the same thing with the Warriors. Yeah. How many times are we going to tell you, Jeremiah, you need to calm down? You need to calm down. Now, you're going to do something to your son to get him to, look, I'm not going to tell you again. I, I, NBA's not doing that. I think you're it's not fake, a baby. We, we warned you. We've told you. It's time to go. I think sometimes, it's fake news sometimes you got to get a divorce. I, you know what I'm saying? Michelle, Michelle, I don't think that was a big deal. I, I don't think that clip I, that, I'm we, just saying all that, clip the time. that we saw. Coach Kerr saying that is an indictment of Draymond Green. We know he's a jerk. What the big deal was is that the cameras Passion. caught him say say that. Yeah. Coaches say it all the time, and they may not be caught on camera saying it. Okay. Draymond yeah, Green is true. Draymond Green. Yeah. But him saying that, that's no big deal. Because I, don't, I think they won that game. I, I don't think they, they want game. Draymond gone. I don't think none of them are going anywhere. If anybody's going to go anywhere, it's going to be Cousins and KD. And I don't think it's going to be because of the locker room. Well, well, I'm going to be honest. Um, they don't want KD to go nowhere. No. They that's gonna, one thing. They do not want they can only They them. can only handle one Draymond at a time. So Draymond is gone and Cousins is going to stay. For the simple fact, Cousins is a better force than Draymond is big as a big man. Now, fake they, news. One's a power forward, one's a center. Guess what? One is and, more and Cousins than the other has one, improved. Though, cause, He's yeah, coming back from cousin, injury. He hasn't proved yet that you can train Draymond yet. Cousin can do what? 
He cousin has not, not proved the Detroit just said. Did that? he say that? Yes, I said that? it. This man's play. I mean, he's scoring he twenty. He's looking real good. But hey, not I'm every tell game. Like this. Not, oh. not every game. He oh. hasn't did it consistently. Boogie he, Cousins is the real deal. I know oh yeah. He's real oh yeah. I'm not oh saying. yeah. He's I'm not we gotta long. give. Hold it. Hold it. We gotta give the guests a props. We gotta give the guests. No, y'all not understanding what I'm saying. I know he's the real deal. But he's coming back from an injury, just like Paul George right. took time to get back from his injury, mm-hmm. just like Gordon Hayward is taking time to get back from his injury, just like Victor Olin Depot is going to have to take time when he comes back from his that's injury. Right. Is he going to be the same player he was before his that's, injury? And that's why they bring in Bogut back right now to see what Bogut can do right next to uh, Cousins. And guess right. what they're going to do? Right. They're going to get rid of Draymond. They're they going to keep Bogut. They're going to Bogut to the end of the season. But understand what I'm saying, he'll, though. He'll resign. They brought he'll him sign. back. For a reason. They didn't just go over there and say, hey, man, we want you to come back. They brought him back for a reason. Right. We they don't go, want you to just come here and see how your, your uh, exactly. Achilles is going to do. I mean, he was we an all-star in Australia. But yeah, will that. they be able to afford both KD and Boogie Yes. Cousins? And Thomas. Yes. Yes. Well, and Thomas. I think yes. Clay is next summer, if I'm not mistaken. I thought it was, no, Clay's wait, already made this, it very clear he's he is more. retired from Golden State. Okay. That is no issue, and he ain't worried about the money. I mean, yes, of course he wants more money, but that's not going to make his decision. Well, the Warriors are not going to pay me, you know, three or four more million, but Lakers are. He ain't going to work. He's not hurting for money. That's not what, that's not what it's about. Just like uh, Zion said in his interview, I wasn't gonna leave my brothers. I don't care what the NBA is talking about. Then he, I wasn't gonna leave my brothers. Right. I, I was coming back. Same thing with Clay. Yeah. You, when you get that family, like he said, we're with each other more than we are with our family. It's a business. So aside it's from a winning, business. So aside yeah. from winning another championship, they've got some issues. They've got to worry about. Are they going to resign Clay, Boogie, KD, and Draymond? Why right. wouldn't they? So. Well, how are they going to be with, with, with able to Draymond economically though, afford to? They Draymond's can. out. They can. I just feel like Draymond's, yeah, Draymond's out. Draymond's out. He's dead weight. Okay. He's out. He's yeah, out. okay. So, well, then how mark much that on, will KD Mark that take? on the board. Mark that on the board that they say that Draymond's out. I think they're wrong okay. on that one. We're going to mark so that on the board. We're going to leave it like we're that. We're going to mark this on the board. I'm about to make the troll really mad, fans. Okay. Uh, Draymond going to end up in L.A. with uh, LeBron. And you know they buddies. <laughs> you see what happened when, uh, when, when Draymond and uh, what's old boy that played for the Cavaliers when they fell out about his little girlfriend and old uh, Kardashian? You see what happened when he said something Trish, about her? Trish, 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 Trish. You see what happened when he said something about her? Who was hanging with LeBron after that? Y'all see my mm-hmm. facial expression? Come on wow. now, you can't tell me. Man. He don't want to go to no bond. losers. It's bond. <laughs> okay, it's guys, okay. We can talk about the yay. This is a good subject. We can talk about this a long time. Oh, yeah. But that's it for Michelle's funky, funny, raise your eyebrow videos. <laughs> well, next we have Reggie Rumor Mill. I want to bring up today is the other day Jet when they uh, Detroit Lions introduced Jesse James to the public. His first statement, well, well, one of his first statements was, "I'm glad to be out of the drama in Pittsburgh. I'm tired of that drama." Yeah. Why would he say that with Bell and Brown gone? Do you still think it's going to be a drama show in Pittsburgh? I mean, I'm happy for the drama in Pittsburgh. Y'all remember I guess last week they got over on me. But um, has has the coach lost the locker room? The coach never had Ooh. the locker room. I'm gonna yes, be I, I will agree with that. He never yeah. had the locker room. First of all, when Big Ben got in trouble the first time, actually the first two, three times, he should have been suspended. He should have been something. He was never disciplined correctly for messing up. So that show right there that Thomason did not own that locker room. Was a crime committed? Look here. Was a crime committed? Did the lady file charges, rape charges? It don't matter. Look how many other players who just got was something said crime about him committed. Did they see him on be, tape doing this? He wrecked his motorcycle for being drunk. Yeah, that that was the, that's that the a, first. Yeah, that's that the was, first incident. You wrecked your motorcycle. And then he was hurt, intoxicated, which hurt the team. Which I, hurt I, the team. I, I honestly believe that could have been handled a little bit better by the by the Steelers. But yes. to take it a step further, um, I love Coach Mike Tomlin, but I think he's kind of lost. Some of the the locker room in the in the sense that you know you don't have players, so you, you know, agree. recording uh, on social media during you know private moments yeah. in the locker room. Right, right. Uh, Coach Tom is a great leader of men, mm-hmm. but I just think how he could have corralled it a little bit with Antonio, 
and Le'Veon. Um, I still have them favored to win their division again this year. <laughs> <laughs> Even though. Uh, <laughs> uh, because. Uh, the I support the more, man. I got to disagree with you. The Browns are going to smash need, them twice. Teams need a coach and a quarterback. Mm. And irrespective a of what you can needs say about to Pittsburgh, to. Tomlin's a great coach and Ben's a great quarterback, Hall of Fame quarterback. Um, Who's left for the Steelers to throw to, for Ben to throw to? Well, you got Juju Smith-Schuster. He's done. And who yeah. else? He's done. He's double teamed now. Okay. Who else you got? Um, hopefully we can have this discussion in mid-November. <laughs> <laughs> so, and we can see where those things are. You got to think about but it. They just, that was like the I'm not say. drinking. Jesse James is gone. That Baker means they Mayfield. Ain't got no, they ain't got no Antonio head. Brown's gone. Bell out of the backfield's gone. They have nobody else to throw yeah, to. Nobody. The tight end gone. Yeah, Don't jump Jessica. on the Browns just yet. I, but, but Regardless Scott, of what Las Vegas is Scott, saying. Scotty, you got to admit they're good, though. You well, they're good, they're, but they're, but they're coach good. though. I love I love Coach Kitchens. He's never been a coordinator, let alone a head coach. So all of those personalities. Speaking of the Pittsburgh Steelers locker room, you don't think he can handle them? He's, he's, he's got Odell coach. Beckham, Jarvis Landry. Oh, by the way, you've got Baker Mayfield. So can he corral that locker room? Baker you Mayfield got, has did an excellent job got, last year. You got three professionals that, yeah. who want to win. Yeah. Yes. Their, yeah. their, their, their desire right. to win is stronger than any three combination you can name right now in the NFL. They are. Unfortunately, I'm biased because I'm not a big Odell Beckham Baker Mayfield fan. Oh. But they're great talents. Right. Great talents. Right. But we'll see on the field, will all of that talent – be. Gel together. Exactly. If I, I, Steve how Kirk, much chemistry will they if have? If Steve Kerr right. can do it with Golden State and all those egos, exactly. even though they don't like green. That's a bad example because they've won multiple championships. Yes, but he was a first-time head coach, and they had a lot of egos on that team. Okay, but he's succeeded. Yes, he has. Yes. So if he yes. succeeded, I'm sure the guy in Cleveland could succeed. His pedigree, he's succeeded. He's right. won with Pop. Right. He's one with Phil. Was right. he a leader on the teams when he played? Was he an outspoken critic when somebody did something wrong? Was he an outspoken critic on the teams where he was assistant coach? I think still that's a bad example because they won. <laughs> Freddie Steve. Kitchens. Now, and I'm not trying to put your feet to the fire. Who is Freddie Kitchens? Yeah, Do you yeah. know where he's from? No. Yeah. Yeah, he's quarterback at Alabama, So, but he's never That's why been, I don't know who he's from, because right. I hate the Tide. But, but he's never been <laughs> in charge of a program. Nobody knew who the Rams coach really was until he got out there. Great, great. Stuff. That's great, Spoonman. I never agree with you. I agree. So, yeah. I agree. Nobody knew who he was. Now look what he didn't did. Right. Took his team to the Super Bowl. what, second year in? Yeah. All right. Oh, with a, with a quarterback that couldn't do jack this first year. With a blown call that the Saints fans still crying about. Cry me a river. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys already have pencil Cleveland in for the Super Bowl? No. I know. I'm no, not no, going no, that no, far. No, no, no. Gonna I'm going to go now. this far. I, I said they're going to have a better record than Pittsburgh. And I, I think, said they're going to beat the Steelers twice. I think the first lady has penciled them in for the Super Bowl. No, I haven't. Okay. I never said that. Well, I misread you. I I'm going to be like you. I'm going to be like you. We'll talk about it in November. Yes. I'm all about well, April with Duke. Uh, well, hell, we'll go. talk about that too. <laughs> well, that concludes Reggie's woman round. I think we had a great discussion. Okay. Oh, Now is for part of the time for the best part of the show. The what? The best what? The best part of the show. Them five ooh's of the day, baby. Okay, now the first ooh of the day is Johnny Walker um, with a magnificent knee to the face, but <laughs> hurts himself out there gets done. And the fact wow. that he's been able to dispatch very difficult guys like Khalil Roundtree gives him tremendous confidence. The reason why that happens is look at... Oh. Oh. Johnny Walker in with another flat knee! He throws so many it. different looks at you. Oh. Wild. wild. That man is wild. Literally and figuratively. Unpredictable, tremendously powerful. Just, he's unique. And, what and he's makes, 26 years old. What makes him so unique, Joe, is his fakes. He's yes. faking the hips. He's faking the head movement. He's moving his head. He's switching stance. You get so caught up in all the movements that it hides the explosion. And then he explodes, and then you got a knee to the face. I mean, the Khalil Roundtree fight was a big win for him. This is an even bigger win for him. This guy's for real. Johnny Walker is something special. Oh, dang! <laughs> oh, that was silly right there. I mean, great oh, knee to the face, great boy, knee to the boy, face. Boy. But the dude kind of like 
knocked us out. Oh, man, that's clown move, man. How that's you gonna win the, clown move, How you going to win the fight and then knock your own self right, out? Lose the celebration. Yeah, that's that's right. Would that be celebration. excessive celebrating? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I would call it that too, Scotty. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, now, y'all. The second ooh of the day goes out to Shakur Soto with the monster hit on Woodson. Looking for their first he third down conversion of the game. Oh, he is absolutely crunched. Ball on the ground. My goodness. Oh, oh my God. wow. Now, I know a lot of people don't really get into the AAF, but I'm going to tell you right now, like I try to explain to some people, these are ex, you know, NFL players. These are right. excellent, ex -college. good college players yeah. who's off in the AAF. And I'm going to tell you right now, that boy right there, but that <laughs> he needs to be in the NFL. <laughs> that was a hell, hell of a hit. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I love that right there. That, that, that's football right there. That's the football I miss right there. And there was no flag. No, no. flag. Yeah, yeah, no no helmet to helmet, none of that. Yeah, blame that on the refs, man. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, the third ooh of the day goes out to uh, has Hassan to play for the um, Miami Heat. He does a great block, and then you got Dwayne Wade. My boy, I hate to see go away. Yeah, I'm doing another Dwayne Wade with y'all because the boy is my boy for a while now. He throws this alley oop to Winston. Check this out. To the first half. George Hill blocked by Whiteside. Second swat of the game for the big man. Wade for Winslow. Oh, oh my nice. That's nice for the old guy. Nice. You know what I'm saying? They've been throwing that loop for a long time. I know, but understand no. something. No. That was beautiful. Yeah, you yes. just biased because you want him in the Lakers. Yeah, I hope, he just, I hope Green <laughs> and him go to the Lakers. Yeah. That's a championship team on Jared Tall. Oh. I, think, I think Wade is doing great. You know what I'm saying? Going out, you know what I mean? Getting ready yeah, to hang the tennis exactly. shoes up. He's he's doing a great job. Great job. Way to go out. Yeah, I, I mean, think, I'm proud I of him. I think Troll don't like him because him and Byrne won a ring together or something. That's what it is. I yeah. mean, Ray Allen won them a ring. Wade won them a ring. So I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Did James really do anything to win a he ring? He wasn't supposed to talk about the Lakers this week. <laughs> he just can't help it. All right, so we're going to move on to the fourth. Ooh, what a day. And this was coming out for my boy, my boy, my boy. We didn't talk about him a little bit today. But we're going to go on and show y'all some of them highlights. Zion Williams. Let's see this. Check this out, y'all. Kind of thinks Duke's looking to get the ball into the Williamson. He's open on the side. There, there it is. Over the top to him. Brankovich with the feed. And again, it's a one-point game. He's going to be open from some angle. He just keep moving the ball. Jones into Zion for the reverse slam. It was laying it in on the other end. Oh, got hit. that's. My God, what I tell you about Duke? Well, what I tell you? I, mean, I understand. What did we're gonna I take tell the field. We're gonna take the field. We'll take the field. We'll take, take the field. We'll take, take the field. But don't be surprised if Duke wins, though. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna take the field, but like I said before, you know, Duke was not as good without him. No. You oh. Know what no. I'm saying? No. No he, when he was hurt, you know, he like, makes a difference in the game, y'all. Yes, he, he makes even when he goes out and gets some rest. You could. It, it just. It makes a difference. But when he's in there. For one, I think Trey Jones is so much What's more that? comfortable yes, on defense yes. because he can really get up in a guy because you know what? He if he gets up. beat, who's back there? Oh, well, yeah. well, well, That's my brother, well, well, Zion well, Williams. Hey. Well, you know, I'm not a Duke fan, but something that me and Smooth hit on earlier was defense in the NBA. And what I do like from him is how fast he is for a big guy, oh, how man. he plays he the line. Yes. I love fast? that he plays. The, did you see the block he had in that game? Yes. Oh, yeah. But, I'm taking a field, Bug Duke. But he is a man. I bet you five dollars that all the James fans jump on the Zion Williams bandwagon next year. All the who? All the James. He's gonna be the main one. Oh, oh. but you know something. We, all we, the James you know, fans so, gonna be. It's time for me I set guarantee the, troll the up James is gonna be. It's time for me to set the troll up, y'all. My five, my fifth ooh of the day is to shut this troll up over here. You know what I'm saying? Watch what I'm telling y'all. I know no, y'all watch what I'm the telling y'all. The James fans. People don't cheer for teams anymore. People ain't little like me and Calvin. We're <laughs> loyal to a team, not to a player. Okay, well, and we're I gonna, guarantee we're you. We're gonna ignore the troll down there. We're gonna go to the that fifth ooh of the day. The James fans are gonna go to Zion. Okay, here's the fifth ooh of the day. It goes to this shirt that uh, somebody had on. Uh, man, so do that, man. All your sports talk in one spot. To my far right, the king trolls of social media, Mr. Reggie Sykes. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. 
Point, smooth. Why don't you preach that to your Lakers? Why don't you preach that to your Lakers? Oh, man, <laughs> no, y'all didn't do that, man. No, y'all didn't do it's that, like, man. This show got the hey, dilly dilly man. going on or something. Oh, <laughs> the dilly dilly. The dilly dilly dribbly dribbly. They didn't put the shorm in there when they watched it in the cleaners. Oh, man. wow. Okay, let's check this out, y'all. Now, I got to agree. It was an excellent point about that shirt he was wearing. And this is a shirt I think it fit you better, bro. Why don't you preach that to your Lakers? We saw the teaser, so we knew it was coming. <laughs> oh, wow, wow, wow. wow. <laughs> All right, y'all. So thank y'all for uh, enjoying the five fools of the day. You know, that's the last time I'm late for a production meeting. That's all I'm going to lie Last time I'm late for a production meeting. Fools of the day. Reggie, I'm sorry, bro. Now, that's the last time I'm late for a production meeting. That's all I got by me. Last time I'm late for a production meeting. Oh, oh that wow. was good. That was good. <laughs> All right, good. now, man, that, that, you know something? Was your shirt been drinking for your birthday? Your hey, hey, oh. you know. <laughs> hey, when I took it to the cleaner, oh, it was a yeah, V-neck that you got to put the Charmin in it. That's all it was, Oh, okay, man. we got the Charmin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Squeeze yeah, 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 that's all it was, man. It could have been from all my haters pulling around my neck. Oh, all really? the Lakers fans. All the Lakers fans. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got a new thing on the show today, a new segment that we're going to do for, uh, you know, guests. We're going to put you in the hot seat. And we're gonna start with smooth with the five O's. What you got for Mr. Uh, Kelvin over here? Oh, well, let's see. Do you think Tiger Woods gonna win a championship this year? Another, this Tiger? year? This year. I do believe Tiger will win another major this oh, year. Uh, uh, wrong I don't know, but he will wrong win another answer. major before he's done. Now you know he just knocked the ball one for twice. being able to come back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Tiger. I love you, bro. I love you. Coming back, man. I, love, I enjoy you loving the game again, bro. I love you too, yeah. Tiger. But, uh, was, eh. hang it up. Hey, come on, man. As long as he stays healthy, he's going to win another okay, match. Okay, okay. I think I'm going to get a title of King Troll the way he trolled. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I heard you got a little lost today, which is okay. That's fine. But, uh, you also have to pass uh, Long's Bakery Donuts, and as a guest, I didn't see a box of those uh, yeast donuts in there, but I was. Uh, I'm sorry, no I didn't know white that box. Uh, I was uh, being initiated. Oh, uh, 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 now uh, you're accusing us of hazing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. If, I if knew we that invite was... you back, uh, you might want to run by Long's before the you come box. here again. I will, if I will take that under advice. Yeah. You know, the yeast, I will, the white box. I will box. take that under advice. <laughs> you know, so what, what I want to know is. Yes, sir. You know, all your experience and wise knowledge of refereeing and I'm sure you refereed a couple of AAU games and stuff. Have you ever got into it with a mother that just would not shut up and, and what did you do to her? Did you kick her out or did you have a conversation? How did you calm her down? No, no, and not just mothers, grandmothers as well. Okay. But you know, you just try to talk to them calmly. Wrong answer. You know he threw um, them on the ground. You're out of here, lady. <laughs> You're out of here right now. I want my $75 yeah, to refer the next you game. You know he threw her off the ground. Yeah, threw her off the ground. Excuse me, lady. Uh, you need to get your cane and, uh, you know, you can't, you can't, you get cannot. The Get he, not. <laughs> he said it all calm. And said, well, well, you're, see you know, next you're time. just sit there and uh, <laughs> try to reason with them. Believe it or not, you know? Michelle would have thrown them out the gym. <laughs> I would not. <laughs> see, that's why you got to establish those relationships. <laughs> oh, kill them with man. kindness. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. No, I he's got, a great, he's got, a great got, guy. He wouldn't have done for that. You. Since we got the battle of the referees up here, who's a better referee? You and Shane? Whoa! I, I, obviously, I am. Oh! Uh, First lady? Oh. I, I've been doing it longer. I'm older than her. I okay, good more, answer. Yeah. That was a good but, answer. Uh, <laughs> Y'all heard no, him older than me, no longer than me. Michelle is an excellent official. I've ref with her many a times. 
Um, but to be honest, answering your question, I think I am. No, oh, okay. Yeah. No substitute for experience. Exactly. Well, thank you for the compliment. Right. I appreciate right. that. You know you're gonna say that because you're gonna go back to the you're gonna go back to the Cleveland Col Cleveland Cavalier uh, the Cleveland the Browns coach. So you know you're gonna say experience. You know. I would <laughs> hope there, so. I would hope that he didn't just say that. You know, in no. case we you know decide yeah. to invite him back. I hope that was a. A genuine, genuine uh, yeah. you know, comment. <laughs> it, was, no, it was very genuine, <laughs> and you guys will remember my statements about Cleveland. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, since I'm, you know, you guys have uh, somewhat initiated me, and, you know, I am a guest, and thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. But I've got a couple of questions. Oh. Um, who do you think will be uh, smooth? Who do you think will be the player of the year in college basketball this year? Mm. Actually, it's, it's, mm. it's, it's, it's from the the looks of it right now, the way everybody talk about Zion, it's going to be Zion. But if it wasn't him, my second pick would either be Marat. Is it? Did I say that? Jay Marat. Jay Marat. Right. Exactly. Or um, oh man, what's the, the, the young man from uh, Kentucky? I can't remember his last name. The uh, power four center. I can't remember his name. That's why you can't. That's why he won't be because you can't remember his name. I think it might be a Smith or something. Like that. I can't remember. But he's a good player, though. He's I mean, a good player. But it's, it's, okay. between them two, I, I, I think, you know what I'm saying? That's you know what he's talking about, Scott? Uh, I do. I can't call his name right now. Okay. But uh, I've got a question for the first lady. Okay. Uh, NBA season is winding down. Um, and I know how you feel about Golden State. If Golden State doesn't win the championship, who do you think it will come out and win it this year? Whoever beats them. Really? Wow. Okay. So you just this. I mean, that's an answer, just, right? You don't, Whoever. But I mean, well, obviously no, they would uh, be the champion. But I mean, no. Oh, I thought you, you meant coming out to. No, who you do mean, you in think? The, in the yeah. exactly. So you're asking me who I think is going to be. Do you there. think it'll be someone out of the West, or, or do you think it'll be Milwaukee and Giannis, mm. or Philadelphia? And now Philadelphia ain't going nowhere. No. Mm. I'm, I'm gonna have mm. to go with uh, the Bucks. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, Giannis is on a mission. Yeah. And I really don't think there's anybody in their way but Golden State. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, All right, Reggie, if I can ask you a question. I know you love the NFL. Does Dallas finally make the playoffs this year? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, did I strike a nerve? Yeah. Oh, I have yeah. a better chance of winning five hundred million on a Powerball <laughs> than I. <laughs> oh, and I Reggie. just said the playoffs. So does that <laughs> give you? So they does that bring, give you? His they answer. gotta bring back Jason Witten just to even feel like they got a team. He's right. coming back because first of all, he sucks as an analyst. Should Jason Jason Garrett be back? Uh, he should have been fired two seasons ago. Oh, I said wow. three or four. Oh, yeah. wow. Y'all really oh, wow. are jelling yeah. down there. They're going to put it on Garrett. Right. He because of the owner. There. The owner's going to put it on him. How about firing mm. the owner? You well, can't. He's not going to fire him. So. Right. That's what yeah. you need to fire. Yeah. Right. You need to fire the I owner. Thought you, fire I thought him. you was just a Zeke fan. Now you all I'm talking about saying, the owner. You know? I, I am a Zeke <laughs> fan, but I would fire the owner first before I fired Garrett. Garrett did a great job for what you gave me. What has Garrett time? did but hold a clipboard and clap? He leads the leading clap. On not turnovers and everything. Think about who he worked for. Man, Garrett ain't did Jack. Oh, man. See, that's yeah, but that's the type of coach that uh, Jerry Jones wants. Someone exactly. that he can control. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why Jimmy Johnson left. Mm -hmm. um, but if he, he's not going to go out and get a strong-willed coach like Belichick. Because yeah, because they'll tell him to go up there and enjoy the exactly. game. He can't and, and, and that's leave Jerry us Jones. Yeah. So but, that's, but Jerry ain't going to do that. Jerry's I, th not gonna I think do he that. listens to his son a little bit because you remember he wanted to draft, uh, what's his name? That's correct. Out of Texas, and they talked him out of it. Who? He ain't even in the league no more. Who? Um, the quarterback out of Texas A&M. Oh, oh, Vince. Uh, Vince, uh, Vince, Vince, uh, Vince, Vince Young. No, not Vince Young. The white quarterback that got in all the trouble. Um, he went to the Browns. Oh, uh, oh um, gosh, yeah. He won Heisman. Oh, uh, no. Manziel, Johnny yeah. Manziel. Yes, yes, yes. Right, yes, Texas yes, A&M, yes, yes. Johnny they, Manziel. He wanted yeah. to draft him. That was pretty good, Scotty. Johnny Manziel. That was pretty good. You came up with that. He wanted good. to draft him, but his son talked him out of it. And he listens to his and son, he Stephen, a lot. Him. Yeah. He does. But still, Jerry Jones is the reason why that franchise hasn't taken off, I think. I think too. Uh, by too. not getting rid of Jason Garrett. Well, his fat pockets have taken off, but... 
I, I'm glad they're losing. You know, my favorite line between Steelers and Cowboy fans, we got rings. We got four. How old are them those crappy rings, you know? <laughs> well, y'all, look, I've truly enjoyed y'all today. I enjoy y'all all the time because, well, you know, we're all in here, and I yeah. enjoyed you today. For Thank you guys friends. for having me again. No Appreciate problem. you. Thank, Thank you. you Hopefully you guys no allow me back. We'll see you next week on Sports Spot. Uh,